And so we'll go ahead and get started. The type of home ownership you have, renter or owner. Yes, owner. Okay, and then the type of structure, single family detached, multi-unit townhome, multi-unit condo or apartment. Single. Okay, and then the date you approximately moved into your home. Uh, about three years ago, March, it'll be March of mm -hmm. 2016. Okay, and have you always lived in Pulaski? Uh, yes. Okay, uh, tell me how your family ended up here. Um, well, I guess I need to say I was born in Tallahassee. I moved here when I was one year old. So oh, so you're I, originally I was from Tallahassee, Florida. Oh, okay, originally from Tallahassee, Florida. And lived, lived here ever since. But my dad's family was uh, fit, well, I'm a fifth generation farmer here, so my dad's family has always been here. Oh, my okay. mom's family is from Illinois. So Okay. We have relatives in Illinois also. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. And so you're a fifth generation farmer, yes, though. Yes. What do you farm? Uh, farm peanuts, cotton, corn, wheat, rye, a little bit of everything. How many acres you got? Uh, I, right now I have about 700 acres, but as, as of this yeah. year, last year I had around a little over 3,000 acres. Uh, we had that hurricane came through and. What happened? Just lost a lot of our crops and stuff, and so we just decided to drop our acres back and really? let go of a lot of the stuff, a lot of the rented land, and we just farm actually what we own, what we own now. So. Oh, okay. So you were renting some of the property, yeah. but now you're just farming on what you actually That's own. Right. That's right. So what's your season? What are you in right now? Uh, right now we're going to fix start digging and picking peanuts probably next week. So. Oh. And so we'll have some cotton ready probably in three weeks. So you, some of the acreage is cotton, That's and right. then some of it is We do peanuts. about a third in peanuts and probably two-thirds of it in cotton, and then a, probably, a, a well, just a little bit of corn we grow every year, not much. But, uh, What's the corn for? I always see uh, farmers have that. Is that for, is it for we, more animals? We or? use a lot to sell for deer feed because we have a lot of deer hunters here. So we, oh. can, we can put it on trucks and put it in bins and hold it and sell it during the whole winter you know while people are hunting deer they'll come and get barrels of corn and really whatever we don't sell that way we'll bring to town and sell it here at the bins here in town but wow and most of it goes for chicken feed i mean that's what most of the corn in our area if you see corn growing in this area more, more than likely it's going to a chicken feed plant and if you go to south georgia mm -hmm. then most of that corn is going to like an ethanol plant that's in you know that area wow so it just really depends on what if there's an ethanol plant or chicken feed plant yeah. or what's in that area that corn actually goes to oh because people are going to truck it to the closest place they yeah. can truck it to so thanks yes, i did not know that yes, see there i learned something <laughs> new learn every day, every day. <laughs> I, i'm trying to tell you, i learned something new every day that is awesome <laughs> So we're going to talk a little bit about the kind of home that you live in, like okay. the amount of bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage, and the type of roof you have. Okay, we have a four bedroom, okay. three baths. All right. I guess around 3,400 square feet. Okay. And the type of roof? Uh, architectural, uh, okay. single roof. Okay. And do you have rooftop solar on your home? No, ma'am. Okay. Uh, can you tell me why you do not have rooftop solar? Did you make that decision, or was it made for you? So did you buy the house like like already yes, originally, was, or you built it? We, we uh, bought it, and it was already that way. But okay. you know, we've never been really approached about doing you know solar panels, I guess, would be one reason we haven't done it. Mm, okay. Okay. And so if you had the option, would you put rooftop solar on your home? I, I wouldn't be opposed to it if it, you know. So possibility, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Why? Uh, just because of the, I guess the savings of, of having your own energy and not having to pay for it. Yeah. One of the main. Okay. And the environmental, you know, savings that you would get from not having to use the other power source. I was just telling Miss Nancy in there a little while ago. It's pretty neat. We just went to see the Braves play in Washington D.C. this last weekend. Yeah. And we were leaving. The, we we flew from Macon to Baltimore, and then we had a forty minute drive from there to uh -huh. to DC. Yeah. And we had to we took the super shuttle. And yeah. On the way, we took a guy into a neighborhood. He was coming home from work, and uh -huh. we dropped him off. And every house in that neighborhood had solar panels on the roof. Wow. And I'd never seen a neighborhood that had that many. You know, the whole entire the whole neighborhood. neighborhood. Every house had them. 
Well, house. is it the one that's like on top, or is it like on the side of the, the house? They were on the side, you know, like on the side, and I uh-huh. guess they were, some of them were they were pointed a certain direction because some of them were kind of raised off the roof on one side where they would face the sun. I guess you know more. Wow. And but it was. I mean, I'd never. I've, I've been all over the United States. And I'd never seen a neighborhood like that completely right. be. You know, it's like every house had it. Wow, so. that's awesome. See, because now yep. we're going to get into yep, that yep. map. <laughs> we're going to get into a map now. So, yes, I'm glad you brought that up. So, now we are going to talk about where you think in that pan, solar panel, is available in the United States. So, this yep. is just a guess. You could put a little X on where right. you've seen it or where you think you've seen it. There's no right or wrong okay. answers here. Just, just okay. circle it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And that'll just... Just yeah, put so down where in, you think. We're in Baltimore, so mm-hmm. we're at, yeah, right there. Somewhere right in there. I know mm-hmm. we saw them there. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I've seen them in the, you know, not on houses, but I've seen them, you know, in fields in yeah. Georgia. I mean, mm-hmm. over around Columbus and all. Yep. I've seen them there. Um, for the most part, that's the most I've seen because I've been all up in here, and I don't. And you can just think about where you think they might have it, and even mm-hmm. even if you haven't seen it, but mm-hmm. you know, maybe you think, no, nah, they might have it due to this, or right. you know, there's no right or wrong answer. You okay. can just put a, um, okay. you can put an X on that state okay. on, you know, things that you think they might have it. Okay. I can't remember. I, that's the only two places I've that I know of. I've seen them there. Mm-hmm. Any possibilities where you think you they might have it based on the state? Mm, uh, based on the state, probably mm-hmm. in California. Mm-hmm. I would say probably. Yeah, that's fine. Just exit. Yeah, you can put an X or a okay. star or okay. a check. Um, I don't know, but I would say Oregon maybe. Okay. Um, Florida may have. I'm sure they probably have some of their <laughs> solar. Um, I don't know if Texas has any, but that would be a good place to have them. Yeah. And Mexico. All right. And so with those states that you just checked off, mm-hmm. California, we got Washington, Mexico, Texas, Georgia, and then somewhere off here in Baltimore, mm-hmm. those areas there, where, um, why do you think they have um, the most solar on their rooftops? Uh, probably the population. Okay. Uh, and I would say the solar benefits in these southern states, mm-hmm. it would be more hours of sun than, say, up north. Right. Would be probably one reason they would have more. Okay. And I would think that would be the population up around this area would be why you would see that. Okay. And anything else you'd like to add to that? I think that's about it. Okay. So why do these states here, why do you think they are more apt to rooftop solar than Pulaski County? Uh, probably not much difference in sunlight hours, mm-hmm. but um, the wide open spaces, uh, mm-hmm. I would say in Texas and New Mexico and that kind of stuff, for, not well, that wouldn't be for rooftop, but for the field type yeah. like we've seen around in our area. Um, yeah. The more open area would be a reason mm-hmm. to have them. Um, and like I said, the population would be the main thing, the density of the housing, you know, mm-hmm. to be able to put the solar panels on the house, on the rooftops. Okay. And then anything else you can think of? I don't think so. Okay. And so that's the United States. So now we're going to switch gears and we're going to look at the state of Georgia. Okay. And I would like for you to put a check beside or X on any counties that you think or that you might know of where they would adopt solar rooftop panels as we do. Okay. Um, I would think, you know, in this, just, just put a check in the, mm-hmm. I would say in this area, mm-hmm. in our area around here, because we already have some solar panels. Okay. Know, and people have already been able to see, you know, that they're not harmful to the environment, that kind of stuff. So they would be more willing to do something like that, I think. Right. If they've already seen them in those areas, I know those two areas have them, and mm-hmm. would be, um, I would say, any of these. You can put a circle. If you I would like say to. any of the more rural areas would be probably more, and I don't know the the, they may be more up to it. At, you know, where in Atlanta, where it's uh, 
mm -hmm. population too. But I mean, I don't know why anybody would be objective to them, you know, because they're mm -hmm. clean energy source. So. Yeah, so just put, just a, put circle. a circle. Yeah, over. yeah, you can do a whole circle if you want to, and the same with Maybe the other area. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, this eastern, mm -hmm. just knowing what I know about the eastern part over here, mm -hmm. there's a lot of land and that's not being used for, they're growing trees on it, so they could possibly put solar panels instead of growing trees. might be a more profitable, you know, opportunity to uh, source of income for them. You know. Oh, okay. Not actually rooftop. I know that yeah. maybe what you're concentrating on, but. It's okay. Yeah. yeah, you can talk about that too. And so what makes these counties that you circled and did checks on, why do you think they would have rooftop solar panels? Uh just because of mainly in, in Atlanta area, probably the population of the, mm -hmm. de the density of the houses, mm -hmm. um, and the and being able to supply the right amount of electricity for that population, there that may be an, another option instead of building more substations and um, places for electricity to be developed. Okay. And then anything else you'd like to add? And then just like I was saying on these other areas, mm -hmm. you have more, not actually the rooftop, but there's more wide open fields and areas to put the actual field solar panels, you know, that would help uh, with the power grid. Oh, okay. What would you say as far as with those counties that you mentioned, why do you think they have it compared to Pulaski? Not having it per se. Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe they just, maybe we just haven't been informed enough about it okay um, yes yeah that works i know we do have one one solar panel field going out mm -hmm. south of here on 112 i saw mm -hmm. one i actually know of in our county though yeah i've heard of some other ones possibly going in of okay. solar farms you know mm -hmm. and i have looked into that myself on my farm oh what did you find well, we we actually got down to the actual engineering process of where they, how they were going to engineer and put the panels in the field. But mm -hmm. We had a couple of areas that were questionable as far as wetland areas that were you know might could be too wet, you know, oh. or so so they didn't really want our. We actually have a main Georgia power line running right by our farm, so mm -hmm. we thought it might would work mm -hmm. to put a solar farm in. Yeah, you know, but they weren't really interested once they saw that there was some wetlands on that place. So. Oh. I think maybe what, once they need some more land, they might look at it, you know. But right now, they're just trying to be a little pickier on what they're choosing right now. You know, oh, as far as, okay. So. Well, dang. Yeah. So what do you? So uh, what about most of your close friends here in the state of Georgia? Do they have solar on their roof? Mm, I don't know of anybody. No. Right so has. why do you think they don't? Uh, I would say the main reason is probably they just haven't been informed well enough to know what. Okay. The benefits would be in, uh, and cost savings that would go along with it. Okay. Okay. And then anything else you would like to add to this? So if Extension offered a class, um, you know, would you be more likely to come? And what would you want that class to consist of? Um, if, if you were just going to talk about solar panels, mm -hmm. I would like for them to to discuss the option that, that farmers would have also as far as uh, okay. in their fields or, or landowners, just say landowners, I guess, in general, okay. uh, what they would, you know, what the options are and what the benefits would be, and mm -hmm. as well as homeowners, too. But yeah. I think, you know, we get these we get these things in the mail all the time that, sh that say these people want to put their solar panels on our farm, but then when you call on that, like, they don't really want to do it, you know? So right. we're like, well, you send us something in the mail, so if mm -hmm. you're interested, are you really interested or are you just not interested or what, you know? So right. I think, you know, I think if you were going to try to market it or tell people about it, mm -hmm. you know, maybe say, hey, there is this opportunity here, you know, if you're willing to. Put your land up with it. You know, this is what the... So already have it set up. Like the person right. who's going to actually do it needs to be at that class that's right. too. Yeah. If you, I mean, if you... Mm -hmm. That would be a good idea. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Because we... we A lot of us would like to do that, but mm -hmm. we don't... Have, we don't we don't know who to talk to. Or if we do talk to that, like they don't want to talk to us about it. You know, once we get in touch with them. So right. I'd like to talk to them face to face and let them say, hey, this is what we're looking for. Do you have anything like this? Mm -hmm. You know? Right. So with the stuff that you grow, like your peanuts and your cotton right, right. and your corn, right. you have 
Okay, I'm gonna do a little egg pivot. Mm -hmm. Right. Is that right, correct? Right. Okay. So, do you run it off Georgia Power electricity? Some of them are run off of uh, uh, Oak Mall EM EMC. Oh, okay. And then I I don't have any myself, but right across the road, mm -hmm. I have a, a good friend of mine that has a pivot and and his uh, water and everything's run off of Georgia Power. So right, and I see, I hear that that electricity can be hot depending on what right. you're growing and how and much water time and the of day that you, Yeah, if you try to run like on a see with EMC. They cut us off. They won't let us run from two. No, yeah, from two o'clock to seven o'clock in if the evening. If it's a ninety-five degree day or above, uh -huh. especially if it's that hot in Atlanta, they yeah. cut us off and won't let us run. Whoa! And it, but now Georgia Power, if you have a day like that, they'll they won't cut you off, but they like double the rate. They make it so expensive that you can't hardly run. But sometimes you can't help but run because the crops need water. You know, and you need to be running so. But well, no, EMC, they cut us off. I mean, so what do y'all do when it's it's been ninety five <laughs> so these past and, couple of weeks? Right. So every day that's ninety five, they cut you off from two to seven. So what a lot of people don't realize what what makes it hard on us is we have to go around at seven o'clock at night and go get all these things, crank them back up and get them back back going again because we get cut off just so people can run their air conditioners and stuff, and then the farmers get cut off. And we don't get to go back until seven o'clock, and we have to go. Oh. From seven till ten o'clock at night, going around trying to get all these irrigation back going. Whoa! Yeah, so. so they make y'all water late at night, right? So let me ask you a question: mm. Is it better for y'all to water at night? It is. It's it's anyway? always it's always better to water at night. But the problem is when you get in a drought situation like we do a lot of times here, uh -huh. it pushes you to where you have to run twenty four seven to be able to. Wow. So would it help if you going on. So would it be beneficial too to have solar panels running for you maybe during that time? Yeah, I mean that, Is it a lot right. of electricity that y'all use too, I guess, well, per se? If the if if you, it would be if your well was on like if you were using the well like cuz they're 200 horsepower motors, so those burn a lot of electricity, but the actual walking of the pivot uh -huh. that makes the pivot walk around, it doesn't take take that much electricity. So like you could probably put the panels. I th I think I want to say I've seen panels on pivots, like they mount them on the pivot, and it will run, run the pivot. Really? I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, the one in Tifton at the uh, mm -hmm. Georgia Dependent Commission that's right there by I-75. Yeah. Uh, they got like a little one tower pivot mm -hmm. right beside it, just kind of for advertisement for Georgia Peanuts. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure that thing has solar panels on it, it's run by it. Wow, that would help you drastically, though, yeah. if you could have, because right. you have pivots, not wells. Right. So right. if you had your pivot solar, which right. we have a lot of sun, that would, right. you That's wouldn't right. have electricity. Right. You wouldn't need the electricity. You wouldn't have an electric bill on your pivot anyway. You might not be able to produce enough electricity with solar panels to run your electric motor, say, if you had it pumping the water. Oh, but yeah. But you'd at least be able to walk the pivot with it. You know, you'd be able to use that. Is it two separate bills that you have? A lot of times it is. A lot the well and have, the pivot? But then sometimes they'll have them together, too. So it's you see it both ways. So you could save, then, if oh, yeah. your pivot could run by itself right. and they only charge you for the well. That's or if right. you can get the well going and then right. rise or rise, or maybe you can have that's enough right. for both. That's right. Whoa, I did yeah. not know that. Mm -hmm. Dang, that's nice. That's and awesome. I, I wonder, you know, because we have these programs that we can get through NRCS yeah. Uh, yeah. and all that. Yeah. Do they have programs to help you swap? Say if you were running a diesel motor or electric motor to swap to solar panels. Because oh, I know they have these, you know, these programs where you swap a diesel motor to electric motor. Mm -hmm. So if you swapped from diesel to solar power, power, that would even be better, I would think. Yeah. I don't know. And see, that's why we're trying to get all this information. Right. Right. Um, and I'm kind of hoping from it we can build some type of program mm -hmm. off of it where right. we can answer those mm -hmm. those mm -hmm. questions because I've had somebody uh, they were theirs was pecans mm -hmm. they had a pecan field that had I think it, that farmer was sitting on about three fifty to four hundred acres mm -hmm. and he was talking the same thing like mm -hmm. I have a well mm -hmm. and it's running and my bill between those peak seasons is yeah. three fifty to four fifty. Right. For my, you know, electricity. And I'm like, oh, God. Yeah. And so he's like, well, you know, would that help me with my bill? Yeah. So that's what we're trying to get is just more information from the community to see what we need to do and what can we further this and discuss and bring mm -hmm. a part of it so we could offer that. Mm -hmm. 
and my, see if we can take leverage off of y'all. My uncle's the actually the executive director mm-hmm. at Old Mug EMC, and he's been the executive director since, gosh, back in the 80s. Yeah. He's been on there a long time, and um, I don't know what their stand is on solar panels or usage of them or whatever, and it's yeah. down there in Dodge County and Eastman. But, mm-hmm. um, but I don't know. It's, it's definitely uh, something that needs to be looked at. Yeah. I mean, like you said, our power bills run when we're irrigating a lot in the summertime. Mm-hmm. And we're, when I was farming, you know, right through 3,000 acres. Yeah. It wasn't anything for our power bill, $30,000, $40,000 a month. How much? Thirty dollars to $40,000 a month. Those those uh, 200 horsepower motors cost four or $5,000 a piece when you're running them. If you're running them a long time, each month, that costs at least three or $4,000 a month. Whoa. So, that's a high bill. Yeah. So if you could offset that by, I mean, even if you, you know, even if you weren't using it, you're producing that power, right? That gets right. put back into the grid anyway. So, yeah, you know what I'm saying? If you could, if there was some way you could swap out or, you yeah. know, have, have solar panels put on your land to help yeah. offset that, you know. I mean, it's, it's well, I hopefully we'll be able to come <laughs> up with and we can yeah. get some classes or yeah. something. And I'm yeah. hoping, because Dr. Jacqueline is leading this, so I'm yeah. hoping we can go further and investigate further for yes, y'all to yes. see what we can come up with whether it's farmers or homeowners right, homeowner or anybody. wherever right. just That's to right. see if we could cut costs hopefully and make it energy efficient so I really, man That's that was some good information, I could write all this down but I sure do appreciate you coming That's, in That's pretty neat because I was, you know, I was when Jay said mm-hmm. something about it, I said you know what, I told him we just got back from Baltimore this last weekend and I never had yeah. seen a neighborhood like that that had Every house, it didn't matter what the house, how big it was, or what they had solar yeah. panels on it, you know. So 